Hey guys, it's Jill and welcome back to my channel. This video is going to be a reading vlog. I'm finally going to be reading Love Theoretically by Ali Hazelwood. I can't remember exactly what this one's about. I've definitely read the back, but I think it's just going to be the classic Ali Hazelwood kind of enemies to lovers situation and with the academic setting or like a work setting. I've heard a few people say that this one is the best Ali Hazelwood book yet. So I am so excited to watch, to watch it, to read it. And before I get any further into this video, I did want to say that there will be spoilers. So keep that in mind if you haven't read this yet. And I have about an hour-ish I think like an hour I will have. Yeah, I think I'll read this for about an hour to get this started. So hopefully I can get a good chunk through it. I've literally just read the prologue, which is two pages. And there is just like a specific way that Ali Hazelwood writes that is just so refreshing to me. I feel like it's just so fun. So anyways, finally getting into chapter one. It's called Waves and Particles. I think it's like, um, what's this, physics based? Okay, I'm only on page 41, but so far we have our main character, Elsie, and she is running like this fake, actually, I think she's working for a company that's like a fake dating business, just for people who need a fake girlfriend for whatever the reason is. She's fake dating this one guy named Greg and Greg's brother, Jack, who I think is going to be the main male character. She doesn't really like Jack because she feels like he's kind of judged her or like questioned her being with Greg. Like she heard him talking to Greg, I don't know. Anyways, but then also she has diabetes and she had one instance with him. I think it was like one of the first times that she met Jack. She was hyperglycemic at the time and very dizzy and like ran into him. Anyways, I don't think that was the reason why she doesn't think Jack likes her, but that was just kind of like the cherry on top of that whole situation. She's also a teacher, but she really doesn't like it. And she's hoping that she can get a new job. And she's at the job interview right now. And I guess the lady is telling her how the other person, this interviewer is preferring the other candidate for the job. And obviously the other candidate is going to be Jack. And I don't know if they're going to have to fight for this position, but, or maybe they'll have like a trial period where they both have to like prove themselves to see who is best cut out for the job, which sounds really fun. And so far I'm enjoying it. I really love Ali Hazelwood's writing, like I mentioned before, but honestly, there are so many parts already that are just so funny and I'm like laughing out loud. And yeah, I'm really liking it and I'm going to continue. I am hoping to get to page 100, I think today. So I have like 60 pages to go. Okay, hi, I'm back. I actually realized, well, I've just found out Jack is not the other candidate, but he is the other interviewer who decides on like who gets the job. And this was a surprise to her when he walked into the room because his like official name, I guess, is Jonathan, but he goes by Jack, which is that normal? I don't know. But yeah, so they're not going to be competing for the job, but I feel like there has to be some type of rivalry-ish or like something going on there. One thing I love about this book is it just feels so worn in. I can fold it over like this while I'm reading, which normally I don't actually do, but I don't know why I felt like doing it with this. Anyways, in terms of the story, Jack thought that Elsie was a librarian because she is like fake dating his brother. And that's what she said. Cause like when she does the fake dating stuff, she doesn't use like actual information or personal information about her job or like really anything about her. And because of this job interview, he's realized that she's been lying. He thinks that she's lying to his brother, but in reality, like his brother and her have a deal because it's like a fake dating situation. But anyways, he's subtly kind of calling her out for these lies in front of other people, which sounds like kind of a rude thing to do, but it was funny in here, like I thought it was funny. However, Jack is actually pretty angry with Elsie because he doesn't like the thought of his brother's girlfriend lying to his brother because obviously he doesn't know about the agreement and like the fake dating situation that they have. I know I've definitely said in the past that I don't like the enemies to lovers situation in rom-coms because it's not truly enemies and it's more so like a bad first impression to lovers. And I do 
think that still. However, it's okay in this book because I'm still really enjoying it. And with all the information that Elsie knows, she actually does have valid reasons for not liking Jack at this point in time. Still technically not like true enemies to lovers in my opinion, but it's still entertaining and I don't mind like the bad first impression to lovers. I guess I kind of like it. And I also realized that I said I loved Ellie Hazelwood's writing, but I remember not really liking Love on the Brain, which was the last book that I read by Ali Hazelwood. And I think I rated that book three stars, but I think I said this in a video is like when I read it, that I was like really stressed out with school at that time. So I think that contributed to why I didn't like it that much. Did I, I, I feel like I might have DNF'd it actually. I honestly don't remember. That one was Love on the Brain. And either way, like I honestly don't even remember what happened in that one. So maybe I should pick that one up again sometime this summer and reread it and see how I feel about it. Because so far reading this one, I've definitely realized that I really enjoy her writing and her storytelling. So if I didn't like the last book so much, I should maybe try it again. Anyways, I think that's going to be the last check-in for today. I'm at page 105. I'm going to get back into it starting tomorrow, but hopefully I can get like maybe to page 300-ish. I think there's about 400 pages. So 300 would be good because then I can finish it on the weekend and then post it for like Sunday, Monday. Anyways, I will see you tomorrow. Hey guys, it's the next day. I am on chapter 13 now, page 173. And there's been quite a bit that's happened in here. Jack really kind of not sees through Elsie, but like I guess so, like sees through the facade that she puts on for people and not in the way that, well, I guess he kind of did say that but he doesn't think like she's fake in a bad way, but like that she's just a people pleaser essentially. And he says to her, why don't you let people see who you actually are instead of just trying to be a reflection of what you think people want you to be. And she's like, uh, but then realizes that he's actually kind of right about that. The situation with the work I don't know if you would call it conference, like event, I guess, at the one lady's house where one of her ex-clients from the fake dating app ends up being the lady interviewer's son and he was really rude to Elsie, both during the date when they had their fake date situation and when they run into each other again during this event. And then Jack kind of stands up for her and is like, dude, go away, you're not being nice. and being rude whatever and then greg who's been on this retreat for the weekend for like five days or something i guess that's longer than a weekend he needed help because he needed someone to drive him home because he had an emergency dental procedure or something and both elsie and jack ended up showing up to bring him home and then they both bring him home to his place which is where greg kind of outs elsie about the fake dating website app thing but jack was actually kind of happy about that because that means that Elsie and Greg never really actually dated and he has a thing for Elsie so and then later when it's just Elsie and Jack that's when he kind of admits to his feelings about her and tells her about how he's always kind of had a thing for her but felt bad about it because he thought that his brother was dating her which was obviously fake she didn't really get to say much in that conversation but in her head she's like oh my gosh oh my gosh like I can't believe he's saying all this and then a few days later, she's out with her friend Cece. They go to a movie and they run into Jack and this girl. This girl's name is Georgina. And Georgina says how she is going to be starting to work at MIT, which is the job that Elsie wanted. So at that point, Elsie realizes that she didn't get the job and she's really upset about it. And she's also upset because the other candidate who she knew of as the name George is actually this Georgina girl who appears to be on a date with Jack and she's like really upset and then she just ran away i'm only halfway through so it kind of seems early to have a third act it's not even a breakup though because they're not together but we are definitely going to have some conflict within the next few chapters so i think i'll be able to get i think i can finish this today maybe i'm going to read some more see if this relationship will get mended and i will check in soon Wait, isn't it a good thing that she didn't get this job because it's definitely a conflict of interest? 
asked if he's like one of her superiors. So I ended up working out, it's okay. I don't know guys, the picture, I guess this picture was taken at like the, because she was fake dating Greg at one of like the birthday parties. I think it was the grandma. Jack and Elsie were playing Go together and it's like a Polaroid picture of them. Okay, I guess it's not that weird because he like kept it in his bedside drawer, bedside table. And it's a little strange, but I think, I think it's okay actually. I can get past it. So Jack asked her out and initially Elsie said no. I don't really know why though, her thought processes weren't, at the time, weren't really described. But then she changed her mind and now they're on their first date and he's bringing her to just like a friend gathering, like a party essentially. And Adam and Oliver are actually in this scene here, who were the main characters from The Love Hypothesis, which was such a good book too. I feel like everyone loves when authors do that. They have like their characters from other books showing up and interacting with new characters in new books. So yeah, I'm on page 233. I only have like 10 minutes right now, but hopefully I'll be able to finish this chapter before the time runs out. I know the main characters have to be quirky in some way to make them different, but she really said, sometimes when I can't sleep because I'm nervous, I look up cheese on Google Images and I scroll infinitely and feel peace. So I've heard people say how she talks about cheese a lot and there's been a few times where I'm like, okay, we get it, you like cheese. But after reading that, I'm like, who would do that? Like, I don't think that's, someone would actually do that. But anyways, I still like her, it's okay. Okay, I just got back from dropping Cookie off at the babysitters because I work for the next two days and I don't want her to be home for that long alone. But I'm reading upstairs, like I usually film sit down videos in this room, but I don't usually read in here just because with Cookie, like there's things that she can get into and I don't want her to eat my books. So now that she's not here though, I'm going to read in this little corner for a bit. I am meeting my friends at six o'clock for dinner and it's 4.47. So I have like an hour-ish and I think I can finish this actually. 2.15, there's like three, 73. I probably won't finish this, but I think I can get pretty close. Then after dinner tonight, maybe I'll be able to finish it up. I'm on page 327. So I have like 70 pages-ish to go. And honestly, for the past, wait, where was I before? But for the past few chapters, I feel like not much has really happened. They were originally, it seemed like going to just be friends, even though he said from the start that he kind of wanted more. They were just gonna hang out, see how things went or whatever. But now they're pretty much together and not much has really happened. But from what he's saying now to her, I feel like his mom who has passed away, she was also a physics girl and she like a theoretical physicist. And this whole time is kind of like the battle between like theoretical physicists and um, experimental physicists. But I think the reason he doesn't like theoretical physics, well not doesn't like, but like doesn't prefer is because his mom got screwed over by a theoretical physicist and I'm pretty sure that is going to be the same person as Elsie's mentor, which is Dr. L. I can't remember the last name, but I think that's what happens. And I don't know if I said this at the start, but another reason why Elsie at the start of this book didn't like him was didn't like Jack was because he wrote an article a while ago. I think it was like 15 years ago now, pretty much saying how theoretical physics is like BS and not accurate, not true, not as good as experimental. And it's now making sense to me why he originally said that because of all the stuff that happened with his mom and his mom's like co-worker, whatever. Anyway, it's kind of confusing, but yeah, they're pretty much together at this point now. I don't think they're gonna have like another conflict, but if I'm going to be honest, I'm a little bored at this point. I don't know what else Actually, you know what? I feel like the next conflict will be that she discovers that her mentor 
was the one that screwed over his mom and then there's going to be a conflict that way because the mentor will say even though it's literally none of his business maybe the mentor will say oh you shouldn't be hanging around jack he's a bad news or whatever so I don't know, maybe that's what's going to happen, but there's not much time left anyways, so I'm sure that will be resolved quickly. I do have to go soon anyways, but the next time that I check in with you guys, I probably will have finished this, so I'll let you know my final thoughts soon. Okay guys, it's a few days later. I just finished the book this morning, and I thought it was really good. I did guess the third act breakup, or not that they were going to break up over it, but when I said, I think I said in the last clip that I thought that it was going to be Jack's mom that was screwed over by Elsie's current mentor, which is why Jack made the article about theoretical physicists and stuff. But then that also ended up being the third act breakup because she felt like Jack lied to her because he omitted the fact that her mentor was the reason that his mom's career like kind of wasn't great or whatever and his mom was just treated poorly by this mentor so then jack and elsie stopped talking for a little bit and she went to actually go and confront her mentor saying did this happen is this true and her mentor was literally so rude and we find out that he was actually hiding job opportunities from her which was really she was really upset about obviously because she needed the money and she didn't have health insurance at her current job and pretty much this guy just wanted to control her in the type of job endeavors that she went on which is very similar to what happened to Jack's mom so when she realized all of this she obviously wanted to go and apologize to Jack for the not misunderstanding but for not wanting to talk to him after he revealed the thing about his mom and then she also the george which is the one that took her job that she wanted initially was offering her job which i think that i said before but she ends up taking her up on that offer and accepting that which she was waiting to talk to her mentor about that whole job first which obviously he wasn't happy about, but then she realized her mentor was bad and everything, so that she didn't even care. I like that it was also about friendship as well, and her friendship with her roommate, Cece, and being honest in that relationship too. So then obviously her and Jack ended up together after she apologized and everything, and I liked this epilogue as well because it wasn't just like, oh, they got married and blah, blah, blah. It was, she actually got an email from someone from the Nature, is it a magazine? I think it is, or Nature, I don't know, because their work was accepted and it was about to get published. I definitely liked Love Theoretically better than Love on the Brain, but I still don't think that it can top the love hypothesis for me. I just really liked the love hypothesis but I of course will still read all of the books that Allie Hazelwood comes out with I'm super excited for her book Check and Mate I think it's a young adult book which is going to be her first young adult book and that is coming out this fall so I will definitely be reading that but that is going to be all for this reading vlog thank you so much for watching I hope that you enjoyed if you read I was gonna say the love hypothesis. If you've read Love Theoretically, I would love to hear your thoughts on it in a comment down below. Don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe to my channel for more book content and I will see you in a new video next week. Bye.